Hello, today I will be doing my second scratch tutorial. And uh, in this tutorial, it will be uh, basically how to make probably the simplest jump scare game there is in Scratch. Now, as you can see, there is what, if you're new at Scratch, it will probably look like a lot of coding. Coding? It will look like a lot of complex code, but it's actually pretty simple. If you want to know how to do this, which uh, shows how to make movement, which looks like this, you'll have to watch my last video. But in this video, I'll show how to add to this program right here to make um, a simple jump scare game. So yeah, but if you just want to have this and add it to a different game, it would be fine too. So here's how to make a jump scare game. So you want to, oh yeah, uh, also right now I am sick. I said this in the last video, but my voice might sound a little different because of that. So let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. I will go to, well, what you'll want to do is make a new sprite. So you'll, uh, not there. Okay, you'll go to paint new sprite. And uh, basically, just make a scary face. I'm going to make a zombie thing, I guess. I don't know. Just some creepy zombie thing. Huh, my nose is stuffy right now. Okay, zombie thing come to life. Thing. I don't know. Uh, naked eyes. Eyes. My eyes are gonna be the most scary thing in the world, but at least it will look like some thing. I guess. Making eyes. It's eyes are a little messed up right there. One pupil is smaller than the other. Oh well. Uh, <coughs> scary face. Uh, making that make. You can basically make him however you want. I'm just doing a quick little zombie kind of thing. Blood in his mouth. I don't know. Uh, eating someone, I guess he's he was just attacked some survivor of out the apocalypse. I don't know. Just trying to make something that looks weird and creepy and scary. Yeah, let's just make him have blood in his eyes. Why not? It'll just add to the scariness. So uh yeah um if you do not know what i am doing right now with all these tools all these tools for stuff uh, i might make a tutorial on how to use these tools along this bar right here so that that's our zombie wait one more thing needs that blood filled in because i mean what's a all right, there, perfect. That part wasn't filled in all the way, but doesn't really matter. All right, there. So now he is complete. But now I need to make a new costume, too, for uh, him lying on the ground or something. I don't know. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to click New Costume, and we'll do Paint New Costume. Gonna just make a teeny circle on the ground uh, with eyes. Oh, eyes. There's nothing in its eyes staring blankly into the soul of your character. Sounds a little creepy. Let me try to get the eyes. His pupils are so tight forget about the pupils okay all right there's a little zombie head lying on the ground so have him over there now the code for this it's so basically what this game will do is basically scare people and uh 
it will basically um <coughs> it will basically be where if your character touches the little zombie head the big face which would be uh this one will pop up in their face and in episode three i'll show how to add sound so you can scare them even more with sound from it sound that that makes sense it makes it a lot more scary because then they hear it and it's loud and yeah so we want to go to events when flag clicked we want to go to control forever now what you want to do is get a uh, i think it's in motions no control i think yeah if put an if in there if statement uh, my, my my stuffy nose is kind of getting annoying right now but uh, that's fine let's see uh if i think I'm trying to think of where the next thing is i'm ah okay sensing now what you want to get is if whatever touching that if touching sprite one right there then what you basically want to do is uh, if the video recorded that back there that was something rebooting some kind of device okay I yep there's a bunch of phones rebooting all right so you got when flag clicked forever if touching sprite one so basically that makes it so if he walks over here la, la, touches it boom it'll jump up in their face but we haven't added that quite yet so we need to add that so we want to go to uh, uh stop going to the cat all right so we want to go to uh looks and then Go to switch to costume. I'm gonna change that to one. And now we want to do, uh, let's see, events, actually control, wait however many seconds you want it till it says game over. Uh, so basically just wait. Uh, I'll just do five seconds. I don't know. I guess uh, that works. Okay, wait five seconds and seconds. Ugh. Can't pronounce stuff with a cold that well. Wait five seconds and it should. Well, let's just test this quickly. Walking over and then boom, just changes to that. And yeah uh so but when you go to it your cat will be walking on his face so that will kind of be a little awkward so what we want to do now is basically we want to get uh let's see i think yeah events we're going to broadcast uh uh i don't know what this should be called all broadcast cat and then go to the cat sprite go to events when flag clicked you want to go to forever now this tutorial will probably tutorial will probably be <coughs> uh, this tutorial will probably be longer than the last one so just saying Right, so let's just move this that code out of the way so there will be room for this new code one flag clicked forever and now you want to get if if and then you want to think I think it is if oh never mind when I receive cat go to looks get hide Boom, that easy. So, now let's test it. Click, oh, I forgot one thing. So we need to go to the zombie. One flag clicked, we wanna get uh, looks. And then, uh, 
switch to cost the switch to costume and keep it on two so there it is we will walk over to it and huh didn't work surprisingly uh oh now he disappears okay we want to put broadcast broadcast cat um right uh right above the wait five seconds block so now it should work so uh oop, i forgot one more thing go uh, to looks and make sure you're on the cat sprite when flag clicked show now ah! yeah that's basically how to make a game but we want to do one more thing where the cat basically spawns or i guess you could call it spawns wherever he was last time so we want to go to the cat sprite and uh uh we want to get a uh, little we want to get a motion one and it says go to get the one that says go to x whatever the one i have basically so the uh sixth one get it now work ah restart goes right there just keeps doing that until you stop so be ready for the next episode where i will show how to make sound for this to scare people more and also it will basically be a tutorial for sound for anything i guess sound for making sound so yeah be ready for next time where i will show how to make that i'll see you all later and goodbye